Welcome to Sploder Game Reviews, the show what reviews your games on YouTube. So as always, my name is Oliver Eaton, also known as the Blue Sun. And today we have three games to give the grand score out of 42. So before we go into all the scoring system, make sure you click on the i button, whatever you're watching it on, up here there is a survey question for you to answer, using this poll to our advantage. But anyway, here is the scoring system. You should be used to it, but there's still new people who watch it, or you might just want reminding after the week. The scoring system in Sploder Game Reviews couldn't be any more simpler. Everything is represented by a logo. The yellow eye symbol represents first impression. This is the immediate impact the game makes in its first level. This could be story related or graphic related. An important symbol is the graphics. This is everything the game displays or the way the game plays. Graphics can be split into multiple things but it's mainly how your game looks. The book icon represents story. This is where I get to look at the title of your game, any characters and how they link to a possible story or plotline within your game. Finally, the hand symbol represents skill. This is brand new to Splutter Game Reviews and looks at the actual game creator, the way they've varietyed the game creator features. All these will be added together to create a grand score. This is represented by score. This will make you get ranked onto a league table. Alright, some platforming game story mode is our game today. We're on the arcade game creator which is personally now one of my favourites. So uh, let's be the blonde Boy, going into this game. Stage 1, level 1. Let's see what this game has to offer. Ooh, where, where am I? I should look around. Oh, uh, yep, where am I? I should look around. Maybe I'll find someone or something. Alright, so we have a good night theme there. Love the placement of the moon. Uh, that goes towards graphics, so whoa, whoa, what's that? Alright, so it's kind of like the story mode just to start off with could have had some details. We had the details with the moon and that, but overall first impression uh, was more hit by the story and more of the graphics. Uh, so it's kind of just to build us up. So really, I want to try and extend this first impression mark to this. See what we have. Hello, welcome to your training. May you have tried must have died. Think you're up to it. I'll meet you on the other side. You also get a new move. I didn't just do that. <laughs> so uh, one thing that is hindering some of the marks here, here is the kind of basic of this you know as we're looking with the mouse you know we've got kind of the default colors the uh, yeah the default colors which you know it's it's all right oh god uh, it's kind of a parkouring game as well like I say some platform game it's not bad I'm gonna be honest it's a lot different to uh, some of the other arcade games and I'm not comparing it to other arcade games what have been on this show because this is quite different uh, and you know the story mark includes the title of the game and you know the title game does go with it some platforming game so uh, it's actually quite enjoyable good work even you've, you've unlocked movement one I'll explain more on the next level follow me so it is more of a platforming game where we're jumping, parkouring around, and I like that. And so first impressions, they're all right. Like I said, I think the graphics do hinder that mic a little bit. So uh, just writing the first impression mark down here. Okay, so liking. Oh, that was me. Uh, the guy that you must find in the world is Stay Queen. Help, Bidmus Hello. Okay, I never knew if you pressed that. So they're quite short levels. Uh, but they do advance the story on and that's what they're designed for here. Uh, the other categories of course here are skill, graphics and story. Skill 
I'm going to be honest, I don't think it's been met as much here across skills where we look at the game creator and how the game's gone. However, the story has done well. We've got the use of coins and we've got the instructions here using the dialogue boxes. No, we don't need help. Uh, oh, I'm going to die. Goodbye. Oh dear, it's game over. Okay, let's try and speed through because uh, I want to see where we can actually get in this game. And it was a bit stupid how I managed to kill myself there. So, uh, yeah, first impressions, they're not bad, they're not great, I'm going to be honest. Uh, the storyline, it seems uh, we've got kind of a storyline what isn't coming to our attention a little bit at the moment. Uh, the graphics, they look, there's some basic graphics, however, uh, you know, platforms have been moved and it's got a good type of game and across skill. Uh, we have the parkour on level, so there's creativity in that, in the uniqueness. However, there's no overall details or uh, complicated parts of the game uh, so far. What I could really mark upon as having huge uh, skill. I don't mean. I don't mean it's a bad game at all. It just uh, is kind of the detail levels. Let's slide through anyway. Let's try and get to where we were. Here on level two, stage two. I think we just got past this level. Okay. Let's try and get here. So, a little undecided on this game so far. It's definitely alright. It's not really, really bad. Okay, W to jump. I don't think I've ever used W keys. Oh, we're not going to make it. Yes, we do. We've got the coins. Oh, dear. Seems, seems the jumping's a little off today. Try again. Excuse me, little man. Thank you. So, uh, you know, you probably hear me talk about it, but, you know, for God, we're false stuff. The use of the coins, of course, coins, more on the arcade games rather than this being a platformer type of game. Uh, yeah. Uh, coins normally used as like a, uh, a temptation kind of thing. Okay. Oh, right, we got the checkpoint. Okay, we. Ah, these are annoy me, I'm afraid. So, are we killing you? Nope, we just walk past. So, uh, I feel there was something. Uh, to kill, don't, to kill the uh, boss, don't we need some projectile thingies? We didn't have any, so. Uh, slight fault there, and that does hinder the skill mark as well as the graphics. Now, let's try and get as far as possible. So far, this game, you know, we've got the use pack on. Hmm, oh, you're here, tell me. Great, it's better to review. Grand, gosh, I'm the Guardians. So, we're quite slow getting into the story, but we have got the story, and we're using the different characters. But again, I'm finding detail is kind of on a low mark here. Okay. You see, the guardians have different species. We're both human, but they're animal guardians. You need to save them. Oh, yes or no. No. So, uh, you know, I'm going to be honest. These could be condensed into a larger level because, uh, you know, it feels a bit, you know, it feels a bit like, you know, we're quite slow going, getting to the main part of the game. Chapter 2, okay, you have agreed to save the rest of the Guardians, however you lack the spirit of a Guardian Saviour. You must save the next Gain Spirits. Good luck. Okay, right, so hopefully we're getting more in. Yes, we're using the coins, and we died. Really? We we just get going in the game. Okay, well, it's interesting. Well, I'm not going to press that uh, retry button. Uh, from what I see, we were starting to get into the action. However, one big thing I saw was no... Not much detail, and that could hinder that like, graphics mark. We did have a good stable game, and the story seemed quite strong throughout, but the skill used there, again, the detail let it down, and that's a shame because the game looked like to be going somewhere. But anyway, here's your overview of the review and your scorecard for your grand score. It got middle scores with a 6, a 7, a 5, but an 8 on story. Overall, the game got 26 out of 40, which would put him quite high in the leaderboard.
Hi guys, so you probably wanted to know how to get your game onto this show. Well, it's simple. On the screen, uh, in a minute, will be the ways, but make sure you please send a link so I can access your game. Here at all the locations, just send a link to your game to one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a featured game here, and it's also a contest winner, and it's by a new game creator on this website, uh, Kidney. Uh, I understand I've been on at time recording for three months. Uh, I've been away from a course for, for quite a bit now, but uh, it's nice to see some new game creators coming through. And this game looks really, really good so far. So welcome to Minigame Madness, otherwise known as the republish of physics. I've edited the game so it is more fun and enjoyable. Enjoy while it lasts. Okay. Let's jump in. So, so far the graphics on that touch screen look really good. Of course, first impression. Okay, so, just to warm up. Okay, I like these type of games. Oh, I like these type of games. So, first impressions, I love the colour. Uh, love, and you know, that goes towards the graphics mark. Love the kind of overall mini game theme of this. Of course, that is the main theme. Love this game. It's kind of one of them coordination games. You want to try and avoid the enemies. And that's quite creative as well. Uh, it's certainly not an original idea. However, it is very, very well presented. And that on graphics and first impression marks is pretty uh, high there. Of course, oh, sorry, I just noticed time is uh, available. So time as well. Ah oh dear, that goes towards the skill. Love the colour coordination as well, it looks really good and it links well with the theme. Uh, so let's try and get through this level, because I want to get as far as possible into this game, because it looks really good. So let's get the green up. Alright, through. So first impressions, really, really good. Uh, and the graphics as well look wonderful, and the game works pretty well. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see where skill gets to it. So he, can you deal with this? Right, so. Uh, oh. So I love the colour theming as well. That goes really heavily with the graphics. My it looks like a major. Uh, it goes heavily with the graphics, man, because, you know, it kind of illustrates a theme of hell, in a way, and kind of like uh, fire something like that uh it seems we have done this visual republish uh yeah so this is a remake by the sounds of it uh seems we have jammed so i'm just gonna pause record and see if we could get back okay you join us back unfortunately the internet did uh choke out on us there but uh we're back here so uh apparently you have to use the mouse oh oh dear Obviously, we're not supposed to do it that way. Uh, so, yeah, Minigame Madness is, uh, as it seems, it's a mad game. So, uh, we've got two more marking points. Really. Skill and story cost graphics is always getting looked upon. Oh, I like how it actually floating back down as well. Just want him to move. Now, ah, it's all about multitasking. Okay, so we want to keep this from falling down. We need to get him up to the key. I like this multitasking because it gets really the skill as well. Uh, of course, we've got, first of all, we've got the background, what's used. Oh dear, how do we get around? We have to go around there and down. Okay, it's really simple, and these are what I like about these games. And this is where the skill mark goes. Uh, you know, the game is so simple, yet. Ah, oh, the game is so simple, yet it has a tough difficulty to it, and that's what I love about games like this. Uh, and the, you know, the graphics look lovely as well. And I, I love the, oh no, I love the kind of theme where we're keeping these kind of coloured bars. The strips will go down. They look really well. Now, of course, it is a remake, so uh, I'm guessing I'm crediting. Possibly someone else's work here. Oh no! But uh, this game by Kidney uh, is really well done. And well done to anyone else who has gone into creation. Apologies to Kidney if it is all your work here. But uh, that's what I gather so far from the descriptions. So. 
No, we hear that side, and it's a lot of this multitasking. <laughs> I love the game. It's 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 great. It's just I can't get anywhere into it, and I really want to. It's one of them games where you really, really want to progress into, and I love this where he's constantly sinking down as well. Oh my god, I'm really pissed off now. <laughs> uh, I really want to get so far into this game. We can't get into this game because we're just dying here. Great. Calm. That, that's the key to it. Let's move on. Ooh. Uh, this is about error and stuff, says... <laughs> says Matt Samson too. Okay. What are we doing? Oh, we have to... Oh, okay, I, I get it. Okay, so this game you have to sign five by five seconds. It's... I'm going to be honest, it's, this seems really tough because it's kind of guessing or is it remembering? Uh, okay, so I know they go come from this side. Oh. Which way? It's from that side. Oh. Yes! Okay, so I like that as well. I love the kind of uniqueness to each level. I know across many games. And skill towards that was really good. Okay, this is Space Invaders uh, or something like that. The old Space Invaders game. Oh, I like that. We've got kind of a limit on how much we can shoot. and shots here but I like that okay yes I love this gauge down and cause again this is all adding to that skill mark what we have okay this is in English it's called coin catcher but here we call it why you read me <laughs> shut up so we're coin catching Like this, uh, I feel maybe there isn't as much of a difficulty. It's kind of just a level what is past. Could add something there. So double task is back. Avoid the crates while dragging the red guy. Ah, like this. Like this more tasking. Oh, I love the graphics. So we kind of got the. Uh, you know, lovely colour scheme, and we've got the picture of the moon here, we've got the crates coming, uh, all using, you know, no graphics as such, and then we've got, ah, then we've got the, again, the good colour theming up here, we've got them bars, what go across, what we've seen, and it's a really enjoyable, and what I always see as a complete game, and that means, you know, all the colours, there's no kind of background colours showing. Oh, but we obviously are really bad at this game, apparently. I don't know why we're, we're getting beaten so much. Please be nice in the comments. <laughs> Fudge! This is, this is dreadful. This is a dreadful approach here by me. Story then, so, uh, of course, we sometimes have some angry people in the comments moaning about the story. Uh, Mark, well, the story mark, ladies and gentlemen, is aimed towards uh, not just a story in the game. There we go. Not about a story in the game, but it's about the title, how the characters link, and ooh, final level. Dude, you are so great. Do we touch the edge and die? Yes, we do. Okay. Oh, I just needed to know that, okay? So, uh, we're. Second to last level, I believe. I was it? Yeah, second to last level. Uh, I love the mini games. I love the colours. Uh, you know, you could say I'm being very, very. What would be the word? One sided? I don't know. But I feel the use of red has been used quite a bit in this game. Uh, but then again, that is used to illustrate that the walls are non touchable, which is perfectly fine. But I'm just feeling kind of like, could we have more colours? 
because the kind of the uh, the title had all different colors like use your blues and greens here um, probably for the background or for the character concerning our characters kind of see -through. but uh yeah it's like this but you know to make this level harder time limit could be good and um, personally I'm gonna be honest I feel this level other than that coin catcher has been probably more of a ah uh, more of an average level would that come to mind if to be honest for me it feels like a level what possibly being rushed uh, but it's still good it's still fun to play uh, and it's got a clear and a hard objective to it I just feel that you know we kind of lost the theming of the game a little bit the color theming uh, which you know it's perfectly fine the levels working well I just feel it's a lot of red so far on this level <laughs> not the entire time. red people or red people red things but uh you know it's just my opinion and i'm sure kidney uh it's hopefully give hopefully you take it as a valid point yep so the internet might have died out again which uh is really annoying considering that it never works anymore but uh i think i've seen enough to get an overall judgment and I'm not, don't worry, I'm not going to let this red issue hinder the score too much. Uh, so, let's see what your grand score out of 40 is. Here is your overview of the review of the grand score. Get in a range of 9s and 8s. The game got a grand score of 34 out of 40. A highest so far this month. Welcome back. So to keep up with all the updates on this channel, click the subscribe button. Let's quickly now get to the third game to see what could be added to the leaderboard. So, Sinterklaas is uh, the game review today. So, uh, deep into the den, uh, first of all, congratulations, coming second in the Christmas contest. I did promise a Splutter 1 review for this game, however, we ran out of time in the end for that. But we've managed to get on this show for sure. Uh, and it's also a feature game, so another congratulations there. So I'm just writing the details down on my score sheet here, uh, deep into the den. So I have seen uh, bits of this game, of course I haven't reviewed them as such, but first impressions are the key. So here is the intro, love this intro, it's one of my favourite intros, uh, just the theme in here, of course I don't mark on intros. Uh, although it could skill, but I love this. It is a Christmas sea filmed uh, themed game. We've got the use of the bells, and that is where uh, it went. So this, yeah, yeah, again, Sinkas must collect all the cookies and the presents and give them to Zwarte Payet before the night is over. Love the use of the bells, and I love this uh, theming. So love this automatic. Uh, love things like this automatic storytellers and that is skill and the graphics and the first impressions here and as well the story absolutely love levels like that and this game is very very well made here by deep into the den and to be honest i, I wouldn't know how to make that so collect the cookie and presents so love the theming love the present icon and the cookie icons as well hate the birds <laughs> we've got the use of the bells uh now that was uh one of the criteria That was one of the criteria for my uh, Christmas contest, so that's why we have got the use of these. Uh, I'm supposed to get this present. Do we have to drag it? I can't remember how to play. Okay, the bell. Now do we get the present? Oop. So, love the graphics though for this game. Okay, there we go. Love the graphics for this game and, you know, the kind of sequence of events you need to do. Uh, it's getting brighter, so we got the storyline of it becoming day. And I like that as well, because we're kind of linking it kind of like Santa Claus, or in this car, oh god, in this class, it's Santa Class now. Uh, I must ask Deep Into Den, is this a translation? Is it a, uh, is it a language? What relates some to Christmas probably is. It sounds uh, bloody hell. We've done the same thing again. Sounds 
quite like that way. I have to do some research after the answer to this game. Just type it to Google Translate. But, uh, oops, I accidentally pressed a button I didn't want to press. Let me just, uh, let me just restart the game back on the normal mode. Alright guys, we're back. So, uh, yes, it is a Dutch translation. Santa Claus is Santa Claus in English. Uh, this is Dutch, so, uh, should, should have read the description, actually, because that's where, uh, it... Whoa, mainly told me that. Uh, well, that's not because we never hit him. Oh, like that. So, I like how the bell kind of... Oh, God, not the birdie. No, I knew we'd go him. They are so annoying, but they were very well placed. If they annoy me, you know, they are placed well. So the game seems quite hard uh, to pass, and it is. It's very well done. And, you know, I'm going to be honest, it's, it's a basic creation. Uh, now, what I mean by that is, I don't mean it's basic in any way, but the simple objective is nice and basic. It's literally collecting things in a certain order. Uh, but the game is very, very, very well detailed, and that's what I like about this game. Very well detailed. It's got its own theming. Uh, I must ask Deep into Dent, are the graphics made by yourself? If so, they're very, very, very good uh, indeed. Love the houses as well. Love the Dutch theme in this game. Ooh, we need to go back for the bell. Oh, maybe not. Okay, hidden present. But yeah, then again, you know, it's stuff like that. The hidden present. Oh dear. And then that starts that. I like that as well, where you have to get everything before you can do the progress arrow. And that's what I'm going to call it. Okay, it's very icy and slippery. Be careful. <laughs> I like that sign as well. It is as well. Want to wipe out of bed. So I love as well this change of theming. We've now got the kind of icy conditions. Uh, love the ah, oh, love the birds though as well on this game. They fly well. They haven't got them lines, and that's one thing. You know what I, what I really don't really know how to do yet. How to get rid of kind of the lines. You know the lines where they must uh, travel. If you know what I mean, there, ladies and gentlemen. The lines what they travel on the enemies. And we died again. It's a tough game. I love because it has to get the placement right. Love as well these backgrounds here, the details. These are not using any default things on this game. This is using uh, intense graphics, and I like it. It's a lovely theme, uh, this game. It's very creatively done. Uh, and obviously, this game deserving the title of... Uh, well, I'm going to be honest, it, it deserves the title of winning the contest, but uh, the other game only won because I found it creative in a way, but this game is pure genius. It is, and uh, really good from deep into the den here. Uh, really tough as well. And we died again, no! It's annoying when you keep dying. Anyway, it's the graphics look absolutely stunning, and so does the skill used to make this. This is story wise, we've got a long straight story. A long straight story, that's weird. We've got a story what is very simple, what goes through the game. We have to deliver them before it gets daytime. And of course, we're going around the world. We've got the birdies, and we've got Santa Claus, or the uh, Santa Claus. Can we, can we just double jump up there? I really don't want to go that way, please. He forced me to go this way. Oh, back from the dead. I knew we were going to do that. Somehow I knew we was going to hit that bird. Oh, I hate games where you have to jump so much. But, you know, credit. It's tough. Right, well, I die again. It's really frustrating. I'm sure for you guys watching, you just want me to get through these games. I can't get through these games. It's frustrating for me to watch uh, or to play when it gets to this stage. Oh, for crying out loud. We are going to be here for such a long time. But again, 
it's part of the skill and graphics. We've got we got the uh, ice. Oh fuck's sake! Pardon my language, but uh, bloody hell, bloody hell is what could be used right now. Can't get anywhere. And you know, I had not actually started thinking about it yet, but the use of the cookies is very good because what do we associate? I don't know. Uh, what every country does for Christmas, but you know, what do you give the Santa Claus at Christmas? You give him cookies, or in our case, it was Horseman's Pies, but uh, yeah. So, wait for the bird to pass, and then we go around the cat. Oh, so I'm guessing now by that present, we have to go back for the bell, and that means we have to go back up. I would have thought the bell has opened a new zone up for us. Why not? Okay, so I'm guessing we must have to go back to uh, down again. Oh no! I didn't just do that! We had to get the present at the beginning and I missed it! No. Oh, uh, we do, we're doing so well. Okay, I have one last attempt because we're running up to the 10 limit mark. But I think we've got a big overall judgment. So let's go for speed run now. Uh, if I die, then that's it. And we've got 30 seconds left as well, so. No, okay, well, I'm going to leave it there. Love the game. Came second place in the Christmas contest. Very, very, am I regretting that decision now? No offense to the guy who won it, but, uh, it is a very, very, very good game. I'm really proud to actually play this game. Uh, thank you, DP to the Den, for uh, making this game in the first place. Congratulations for getting it featured. Here is your overview of the review, the grand score. Gaining mighty tens in first impressions, graphics, and skill, and picking up an eight in story, the game has got a massive 38 out of 40. There we go, all three games have been done and dusted and got their scores out of 40. Let's add these to the leaderboard, which is for the uh, month of Ma February. February, yes it's February. Uh, let's add it to the February board to see who member the month is. Top of the leaderboard with 38 is Deep Into the Den with Sinterklaas. Four points below is Kidney with Minigame Madness. Our last two entries are with 31 points. And then finally Mario Extreme 21 with 26 points. There you go. So please, if you go get your game onto this show, send them in down below. I'm trying to get to them. It is really tough though. Uh, we've got so many requests and we kind of missed them all. Oops. Uh, but make sure you again you click the eye icon up here to do a poll uh, or check all the other videos and feel free to click any links at the end of the video. But anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Oliver Eaton. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.